okay. So we can't go to the art room at the moment, I'm afraid, but I'm gonna bring the art room to you. So today we're gonna to be doing a project that many of you have done with me in the art room before, and that is making tie-dye sheets. Now today we're just gonna be using stuff that I'm sure you've got at home, and that is a paper towel from the kitchen and some food coloring. Now you can find any of these things just in a regular supermarket, so when mommy and daddy goes out next time, if you don't have these, maybe you can ask them very nicely if they might pick them up for you. Now over here we've got a whole bunch of colors. We have orange, yellow, blue, red, and rose pink. So you can get even more colors than this. I think I've run out of green, but we can mix that using blue and yellow together. And the more colors you have, the more beautiful that your paper towel is gonna to be when it's finished. So I'm gonna go and grab my little boy and he's gonna show you how it's done. This is Ozzy. Ozzy, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and you're gonna be making something really cool today. Okay, so I'm gonna give you one of these. And I'm gonna have one too. And what we're going to do with these Oz, is we're going to start folding them in any way that you can. So how do you think you could fold it to start I with? I could fold it like this. Yeah, that's a great idea. I might do mine a bit like that too. And then what else can we do with it? We can fold it again on another side. So he's folding it triangular. I've done one like that. Now I'm going to start doing mine in little strips going across. But you can do yours differently, Oz. Now the more different ways you fold this, now press it really hard every time you've made a fold, okay? Now the more times you fold this in different ways, the more fun patterns you're going to come up with. So if you're doing more than one of these, you want to try not to use the same type of folding twice. So if you've folded it square once, then maybe next time try triangle. I'm folding it like Wow. Ooh, you've done like a rolling. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, which makes it very long. So I've made mine long. But the oh, trick is good. with these that you have to get them as small as possible. Now, do you think yours can go smaller? Yes. Yeah, so make it smaller. Look, I can go like, and then smaller. Okay. Like that, and, then. and smaller. Now, you can see I've put a black paper Ooh. bag here. Look I've cut one open. mine is, though. Wow because this is gonna get very, very messy. So you wanna protect whichever surfaces you're using. Now, is yours as small as it could be? Yes, yeah. this small, it does now, small. I can't really get mine much smaller than that. So we're gonna hold them together with an elastic bag. No, I can't get it smaller than that. Now, if you have paper clips at home, you can kind of paper clip these together as well, or you could even use a peg. Yeah. There we go, so we've got yours. And mine. Now what you need next is some food coloring. So I've got a bunch of dishes here and you can just tip this right in but I like to use a pipette so we don't make too much mess. Now this one is pink. Now you don't need an awful lot of these, just a very small amount is good enough. I'm just going to leave that pipette in there because we might want it again in a little while. That's red. What color is this one else? Blue. Blue. And then yellow. And mm -hmm. um, then kind of red and orange. Orange. So this one's yellow. I'm gonna pop a bit in there. And, there. and you know what? Instead of using orange, because orange is quite similar to red and yellow, should we make a green? Yeah. So let's put a little bit of blue. You don't need too much blue because it's a very dark color and quite a lot of yellow. I'm just gonna drop those in. Now, it's important that you mix these with some water because otherwise the colors will be too dark. Now you don't wanna wash them out too much, but just about equal parts of water with food coloring is probably good enough. This is making it a bit lighter so you can see the colour. Yeah, because they look a bit black otherwise, don't they? Now hopefully that's about right. And that's a very dark green still, isn't it? Should mm -hmm. do a bit more water? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now, this is super duper messy, so sleeves rolled up. I'm gonna put my rubber glove on. Would you like one as well? Yeah. They're a bit big for you, but we can try. Let's see, here we go. Which hand do you use? Your right hand. Ah. Oh wait. There we go. Ah. Thing. Not very easy. <laughs> Can you still use your hand? That's, that's what. Okay. So, you still with me, Oz? Yeah. We were interrupted by a phone call, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't got the other one. It's okay, you just need one. Because we're just going to use one hand. So, I'm just going to swish these colours around. Make sure that they've mixed with the water. And you can see that aside from the black plastic bag we have here, we've also got some pieces of scrap paper over there. Now these are going to be really useful to dry our um, tie-dye sheets on in just a minute. So get yourself ready with some paper before you do this. So grab your paper towel with your rubber hand. Okay, now you want to hold it between your fingers. Can you manage that even though they're too big? And we're going to dip it just lightly in each one of these colors, okay? okay? Look, watch this. So I'm gonna take mine. First thing I'm gonna do is make one corner red, a little bit. Now, the longer that you hold this down in the food coloring for, the more food coloring is gonna be sucked into it, look. <laughs> now, you don't wanna do the whole thing one color because then it'll be pretty boring when you unfold it. So you're just gonna turn it round, find a different area and try a different color. Which one are you gonna do first? Mm -hmm. Green, go on. Wow, look at that. Show the camera. Looking good. Okay, which color next? I might use a bit of yellow. Let me in the water and let you. Okay, now try a different color, Rosie. Uh, blue. Let me just check we can see what you're doing. Okay. Looking good. Try not to hold it with your clean hand. Just turn, hold it in the rubbery one. And a bit more blue, I think, because there's hardly any on there. Now I'm gonna put my yellow bit in with the blue and that's gonna make a nice greeny when it mixes. Look at that. You see how it's starting to make green together? Mm -hmm. Wow. And next, cool, huh? I'm gonna put my blue in with yellow. In the yellow, okay. So let's bring it down, put it in that big pool of yellow. I'll put a bit of pink on there. Ooh, what is that? Oh, and what I'm going to do is put a bit of blue on top of my pink, and that's going to make what? When we mix blue and pink, what will it make? Mm. What do you think? You're taking all purple. Wow. And now what you're doing is you're looking for any white areas. It's okay if there's a little bit of white left. That's still going to show white when you unfold this at the now end. Now I'm so, going to use some red in my green. But not too much white, otherwise it will be super boring. Look. Look what the red and the green make. Ooh, red and green make a kind of a brownish colour. Oh no, mine's going a bit brown, so I'm going to stop. Pink. Okay, I'm going to try and make... I want to try and make like, these three colours. Go for it, try it. See what'll happen. Mm. Look, it's going to be a bit pink. Wow, that's nice. Now let's have a look at how much white Aussie's still got in here. So. We can see there is a little bit of white underneath. That's okay. Maybe do you want a bit, a bit more blue there before yeah. we open it? Yeah, you take it with your rubber hand. Color. That is your favorite color, huh? Oh, and also, sit, lay it down, really squash it into the color. So look, it got the rubber band bit. It's okay. And then everywhere where you put a darker color on a lighter color, that will make another pattern for you when you open it up. Okay, so we're going to open these up now. I'm going to do this because I've got two rubber, two rubber hands and you've only got one. No, no, don't touch with your clean hand. Anyone do one? Yeah, I'll undo it in a minute. So we're going to undo mine first, look, Oz. Mm -hmm. and you have to be very careful doing this. You can leave these to dry for a little while first, if you would prefer. It's really nice. I might have done a bit much, huh? A bit much colour. It's gone pretty dark. So can you see the pattern emerging it's here? It's nice. It's nice? You like it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have to undo this one all the way so it will dry properly. 
Now, like I said, you can let these dry while they're folded up if that's, if that's better for you. And then you can unfold them when they're dry. I like to unfold them when they're wet so we can see what they look like straight away. Let's have a look. Okay, one more flap there. Be very careful because these are really delicate. Oh, that's my favorite bit where you've got the purplish bit there. You like the purple bit too. Yeah, and also I really like the bits where all the yellows come in here and greeny. That's fantastic. So look, if we if we put that in front of some light, can you see how beautiful that is? Yeah. Now we're gonna lay this down on a piece of white paper to dry. Because if we're lucky, it will also imprint its lovely colours onto the white paper. Okay. Oh, unfold that now for Aussies. Let's have a look, mister. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Brace yourself. Ooh, that is a nice one. It is a nice one. It's a nice one. Okay, let's take a look. It's like... Mm. Wow. So because Ozzy has folded his different to mine, the patterns are completely different. You can see you've got some long designs where you rolled yours and I kind of made mine long like that too, didn't I? To start with. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, Ozzy, look at that. Nice? Yeah. Yeah? There's like blue bits and like every palm. Little blue bits all around? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make some more of these and we will show you all of these that we've made later. Say bye. Bye. Good boy. We'll speed the next one up. But we'll have to have different colours. Yes. So here we go. Start folding. Leave that there. So start folding. Hmm. Let me check I've got you in the shop. because I did twisting. Cool. Are you able to do that right there? Or do you need a hand? Do you want me to help I want to do mine differently and unfold it. Okay. And do it again. You can carry on with yours in a minute. I'll make some more in there too. Mine's being a bit square-like. Yeah. yeah. Careful of the plastic, us. I did mine a different bit. Different. And I did it before. Now can you? Mm -hmm. And then can I help? I mean, this cup can I have the gloves and you have the one? Um, no, because I have to do the unfolding, because the unfolding bit can rip really easily. Okay, come here, okay. put your hand in here. What? Okay. Okay. So, pink, red. Well, but let's do different colours. Yes. Well, no, we have to use these same colours, but just use the minute, look, you used a lot of green last time. And a lot of yellow, so maybe use less of that this time if you want something different. Tiny bit of blue. Mm hmm. But a lot of Oh, no. 
also look, some of the other colours are coming off in the in the Ooh. yellow. Mm. Look, look at mine. Looking good. We've got a bit too much white at the moment, so maybe I'll um, cover, cover, uh, cover up some of that white. Cover up some of it. A bit more. Yeah. But instead I'm going to do a lot more of blue. Really getting blue so it was. Take a look at this one. What do you think of this, baby? Look. What do you think? Really nice. It's like... Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. If you got a lot of white, then try and do a bit more. Not so much white. Woo! Look at that. Not so much white. So let's do a little bit more yellow where you've got a bit of that white. Okay, now let's open yours. Yours has got like spots on it this time. Fold that up and then you can have a little green dot on it. It'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I'm just gonna scrunch this one up in a ball, see what happens. Okay, now you try doing different folding. Look how I'm doing it, mine like crazy. I'm doing different folding on each one. Mm -hmm. I am doing the folding. Watch out for the plastic, cause. Look at mine. There's like some dots of it already. Mhm. Mm I won't get so much of it. Now we try and just use up the bit that we've got left. Look at that. Or mix. Oh, a nice big blue bit. Oh, but <gasps> purple here. Try and get this bit right in the corner. Get all of that colour up. So we don't want to stick to it. Now the other side. Yellow. But this is what happens when you just scrunch it up. Look. Wow. I just scrunched it up into a big old ball. Look at that. Snazzy. It's nice. to dry. Very snazzy. I'm just gonna get the other one and stuff apart. Okay, how's that one coming along? Is it hard when you've got very long fingers? Yeah. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> okay, where's the last bit of white? No, we can't get it to the white on it. So what you have to do is lay it down. So lay that, push it in to a colour. Yeah, look, 
If I tip it, then we can gather up all that colour that's... Oh! Oh, what we can so also good. do, Ozzy, is we can also just do a couple of drops of water to help the colours blend. Okay. Which colour should we use on the other side? A little bit. Mm, a bit um, more red? No, there's, there's some yellow there. Some yellow. Should we just get a little bit more yellow then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Take this off so carefully so I don't rip it. Mm. Now you have to be very careful to stop when it looks like it's getting brown because that's when you'll ruin it. So you have to just know when you've done enough colour. So sit down so that people can see. Whoa! I think this might be your best one yet. That's magical. I did such a good folding. You did great folding every time. And look how you did a different fold every time you did it. Wow. Just look at that. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Look at the way the colors have mixed. Purples and reds and blues and greens and oranges. Look at that. Here there's orange where your yellow and your red mixed. Beautiful. Mixing up colours. So I'm going to lay this down. Is the best one yet that we've both done? Maybe. Could be the best one yet. Okay, give a big thing, thumbs up, Ozzy.